Hey guys, it's Wayne here from Deep Blue Ideas. I'm going to show you another tool I've been working on called Project Attributes. So I'll just launch it here. Um, it's a straightforward application, this one. Um, a tool that we found very useful when we've got projects with lots of attribute, game attributes to manage. Um, what it allows you to do is move them around, change the data, uh, find how many actors and instances and scenes are using that particular variable, etc. And change the data as well. So um, I'll give you a quick demo. Green game sort of file. Okay, so here's my card matching game. So instantly I have all the variables listed, um, and I can actually see if I go to analyze, I can actually find out how many instances that variable was used in. So um, if I've got obviously no actors using it and no scenes, I can ha happily delete that um, variable. Um, one of the other things we can actually do in the tool is we can sort all the variables. So where we go, all the integers at the top and booleans, um, text at the top here, yeah. So everything's been sorted neatly. I can also change the value, so card data, I'm gonna change it to test, um, random seed, put some information in here, okay. And then all the boolean data I can actually change as well, so I'll change all of these. Here we go, okay. So it's a very quick way of actually changing the information um, and moving them around as well, so. Or what I could actually say is I want actually I want these all of these uh, moving to here. So I'll move them all up in a block, or I can move them down separately. Or these ID ones, let's put them together. Okay, so that'll be a bit neater now in the game side of the project. Um, and obviously you can sort them as much as you like. So once you're happy, you've got it done. You can just um, change the attributes. Again, it'll create a new game solid project for you. We don't want to touch your original one. Open this one up in game solid. Let's have a look. In the attributes. Okay, I can see all my IDs one, two, three, four, five, six are in the right order. I can see my data has been changed that I entered, um, and everything's been sorted nicely. And all my booleans have been switched on as well. So. Um, yeah, like some you know, you can't actually do a lot of that stuff inside game solid. It won't give you an analysis of how many actors or scenes are using that variable, and it won't let you reorder or group reorder items. Um, so a very quick tool um, to change your attributes. Okay, let's have another look at another demo. Okay, done that one. I'll delete that. Um, okay, joystick demo. There you go. So it's great variables, but let's put these in a better order. Um, put the angle there, angle two there. Got my billions at the bottom. Radius angle here. Radius from centre to. Let's put that in order. There we go. So that's a much cleaner order now that you would expect um, project variables to look like. So let's have a look. Very quick. So look at the attributes. And yeah, they're all in order. The angles are together and the distances from centre are together. So everything's been put together nice and neat as well. Um, yeah. Okay, one other thing that we can actually do in this is we can actually rename the variables and that won't break any of the variables that are being used um, within the actors or in the, within the game. So we'll call this one stick one test. And we'll call this one, this particular variable, stick um, test two demo. And change this angle one to my angle. Okay. And again, we can change the, the data in here if we wanted to. Um, so, okay, let's update that one. Okay. Okay, so my names have come through now. My data's come through. Change the title here. And of course, all the um, attributes will still work. Um, it's just change the name and the variables. Okay, so bye bye.